Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hex. Hello there. Um, Valhalla, or VA11 Hall A, as it may be known, is a cyberpunk RPG. Right, what does, what's it call it? It calls itself Cyberpunk Bartender Action. There you go. It's uh, it's actually a visual novel with some interactive elements and some wonderful storytelling, from what I understand. Now, what drew me to this game was I saw this way back at EGS, EGX, EGS, EGX, EGX, EGX about two years ago, and uh, they gave me a coaster. Love this coaster. Best coaster I've had. It's got the cork back. It's got a metal top. It's got some bounce to it. Best coaster I've ever had. So I wanted to buy this game because their giveaways matched their game, which I liked. Um, and one thing led to another, it came out, I was playing other stuff, never got into buying it, and then I was like, I want to play it, but it's going to be on sale at some point, you know, I'm not, 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 not got loads of money, so let's wait for that. Nothing ever happened, uh, didn't manage to pick it up, and then, Humble Bundle, the Humble Overwhelmingly Positive Bundle, uh, which is like the third video about the Humble Bundle that I've done this week alone, which is really weird. Um, yeah, it, it came in there at the top tier, so I was like, snagged, because I've kind of been wanting this game for a while anyway. And i got some other stuff in other stuff in there as well. We don't need to really worry about the other stuff. Um, but yeah, this is, there you go. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, I don't know a lot about it, other than what I, other than sort of people have told me and what I saw at EGX. Um, I know it's exactly up my street. Cyber, cyberpunk, dystopian, bars. It's everything you want in life, uh, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's priced at £10.99. And on Steam, it gets overwhelmingly positive, both overall and recently. Uh, and why does it need to run it? It's, just, it's a fucking visual novel, guys. You can run it on anything remotely modern. Uh, what I do like here, what the developer's done, he said, Ubuntu, it runs on Ubuntu. Uh, additional notes, might work on the distros. That's, a that's fine. That's great. Because the developers tested one distro and then gone, I'll figure it out for the rest. And that that's great. That's great. Uh, I like this. Uh, other things like it, according to Steam, is Nept Hyper Dimension Nept no, Mega Dimension Neptunia 35, I don't know, Hatterful Boyfriend, an Octave Hire, which I don't actually know anything about. So, 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 Steam's done a great job. Recommend this shit again. Good work, Steam. Jeremy Rue, really great game, by the way. Um, 2,500. And 49 positive reviews, 41 negative. That's some, one, one hell of a ratio. Uh, I think it gets that because, like, people who buy visual novels like visual novels. So as long as it's, like, got a good story to it, people are going to be happy. But um, I dare say the 41 can be like, there's no gameplay. I'm gonna, let's, let's, let's find one of the negative ones, shall we? In fact, we can filter by negative, can't we? I bet the negative ones are people who just hate visual novels. So it's, it's be funny. I really wanted to like this game. I liked it a lot. But, ugh, the writing... Oh, this crowd. I was hoping the light was going to be good. Maybe you're wrong. Well, let's find out. Uh, I remember a while back when I stumbled across a web page with it. Blah, 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 blah. Too long. Get to the point. Uh, extremely short game. Uh, visual novel with very little interaction. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I really thought it was going to be people going, I hate visual novels. Visual novels are stupid. Um, pretty sick. Oh, pretty, pretty sexist. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, let's find out, shall we? Uh, now, what's interesting is today, I'm not going to be launching this game in Steam. Because uh, I've realised, and people have said it, and I do play a lot of games, but I tend to get everything on Steam because it's like one place you can get everything, and most of my games are there. And I have this game on Steam because uh, I have the, the, the Humble Bundle. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting. Let's run it without Steam, and let's see how that goes, shall we? It might be interesting to do. Uh, Linux content, uh, runner. Yay! I've always weirded out that there's no installer of any sort for the for this stuff. I mean, like, uh, where is where's Steam? No, 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 no. Yeah, awesome sounds. Uh, and anyone who's questioning it as well, this isn't a pirate download. There is my copy on Steam, in case anyone's wondering. Because, you know, people people be like that. Uh, it's loud my end. Let's turn it down. Yeah, let's turn it down my end. Okay. I suppose I should be reading that. Oh, that's pretty. Click to start. <laughs> oh, shit, it's actually done. Cool. Okay. Settings? Uh, windowed? No. Full screen! Okay, yay, full screen. Sound effect, everything's up. That's right, scan lines on. Ooh, scan lines, sexy. Scan lines off. Cool. That does are expected. So, we're not, guys, we're not going to play this game too deeply. It's a visual novel, so I could be here all day if we were going to play through to a point. So, I'm going to give it, I'm going to get 10 minutes to make this video 15 minutes long, which is reasonable. So, 10 minutes is the cutoff. Let's go. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played. Getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, snacks, 
and enjoy. Sit back and relax, and we hope you have a good time. That's nice, isn't it? I like that. Okay. Here we go. Turning the game down for you guys. I didn't minimize, which is nice. Uh, psst. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Did she just come from the television? Okay. And, uh, come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's, the game's starting. The player needs a good first impression of its main character. Self-aware. Like it. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend. And the bar will eventually close. Aww. And admittedly, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. That's good advice for life, guys. That That's actually, like, great advice anyway. So let's go with that. I have no idea what the bright side is, but you should totally find it. Good advice. I mean, this nice art. Nice artwork. Uh, in any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Ooh. I got a parcel. Jill. You're just a dream. There's something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. Primera? Primera. Ah? Huh? Primera. Prim okay. <laughs> Hello. Let's go. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 bucks by then. Make sure you save your data using live backup. You can now browse the augmented eye. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, so this is the world. This is our portal to the world, and this is this chick's phone. That's cool. Is that okay? Uh, who was the letter from? Nobody. Is that who's for? Okay, so can we click on the letter? Do we click on stuff here? Do we, where do we interact? Okay, can we? Oh, okay. Hold to unlock. Ping. It's a bit Android, isn't it? You think the resolution would be better in the future? In a dystopian future? Add app. Click, click, click. Welcome, Jill. Ooh, augmented eye. Mr. Uh, Mugajun continues as. Oh. <laughs> Mass emigration. I was like, Miss emigration? That's a weird name. No, mass emigration. Continues as. Wonderlands are the newest threat. Cyborg in heels returns next year. Okay. Uh, cyborg in heels. Cyborg in heels returns next year to Super Silver Thunderdome. The popular show Cyborg in Heels returns to the Dome this March. The tickets go on sale in January. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, oh, we, we drag and scroll. So this is like, okay, this is a news item. Interesting way of, of saying the story. So this is how we get a sense of the world, I suppose. Wonderland is the newest threat to your security. If you thought Alice the Rabbit was good at clicking most complicated security protocols in the world, the new group will certainly blow your mind. They make impact big eyes, blah, 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 blah. Boring. Okay, let's, uh, yeah. Life backup is hate. Yeah, that's a save. He's, that's save. Save. Okay. That's interesting. I think that's. I loaded this on Steam. I got this far and I closed it. I think it's picked. I think the DRM free version's picked up the Steam version. That's interesting. Well, plenty of room for save games. That's nice. Add app. No music. Ooh. Uh, neon lights. Glow, neon glow lights. Ah, nice. Oh, I didn't carry on playing when I exited. Okay, go to work, because that's all we can do. Fun zero. It's like two broke girls, isn't it? Tuesday, December 13th. But what year? Good evening. Hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. Okay. Uh, when we limit, you have a John face, Jill. What? Let people call you Jules. Okay. Looks distracted. All right, then. Where's the boss? I don't know. She went out to buy some stuff, and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Okay. This is one of those things you couldn't read, isn't it? You'd have to, like, perform. I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm just... <laughs> uh, okay, well, what's this? What's this about? What, what's this about? Oh, what's this stuff? Uh, I'm thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay my rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Uh-huh. 
There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Interesting. This is, this is the there's a girl in there. Look, did you see that? Intense. And I've just realised, guys, my face might be over the dialogue. That's okay. It's okay. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found the bar at risk of closing. Okay. My life is shaken up. I'm apparently going crazy. Okay. On top of that, uh, neutering four left me with completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Wow, pile on the stress, isn't it? This is dystopia as fuck. <laughs> the beer goes around my apartment, and Jill, sorry, d d did you say something? <laughs> can you really work today? Of course I can. Okay, let's see some work. Let's get to the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Okay. If you make me a piano man, I'll skip the rest. But why? But beer with but beer with me? But bear with me for a second, okay? Let's start with Sugar Rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar. Okay, top left. What? Well, there's... Top left. There's no top left, okay. You can also set drink flavors by sweet type or manly. Drag the entire amount, to, drag the desired amount of ingredients from the right to the shaker. Okay. Press the mix button when you're done. Okay. And, okay. So press the serve button. To, okay. So we make the drink. We serve the drink. Straightforward enough. Okay. The drink looks messed up. You'll need to press the reset button to try again. Can you press the reset button any time while the shaker is moving? Don't be afraid to use it. Okay. This would be no problem. <sighs> okay, oh, cool. Okay. By Nat, what did he want? Oh, shit. Sugar at what? A, sugar, a piano man, I think he said. Piano man. So it was a sugar rush or a piano man. I think he said that the piano man lets me skip the intro, uh, which I don't know. Uh, it's two of the red one, three, three of that one. So two of them. So one. Two, one, two, three, five of them. So one, two, three, four, five, and then three of uh, those. Wait, what? Five of those, five of that, what? Five powder delta, five of them as well. One, two, three, four, five, and then three of them. One, two, Three. Fuck me, that's complicated, isn't it? Uh, all on the rocks. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I see what's happening here. So we have to ice it first. So all on the rocks. So one, two, one, two, three. Then it's just five of each. Four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. And three. One, two, three. Mix. Okay. Uh, how long do we mix for? Is there a trick to this? Okay, so... Um, okay. Uh, serve. Is that it? What? Did, that, did we do it wrong? Oh, man. Okay, so a piano man is two, three, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, three, all on the rocks and mixed. Hmm, interesting. So what's the other one? A sugar rush. So, a sugar rush. By name, S, sugar rush. It's two of them. Uh... One, two, one of them with an optional of those. I'll have the optional of those or mixed. Um, is there anything? Is the is that it? We mixed enough. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Serve. Serve. What? Hmm. Well, God damn it! <laughs> one, two. One powder delta uh, with an optional. 
Chromatine. And then mix. Maybe we have to wait longer for the mixing. Maybe like we have to like help it. Oh, do we have to keep clicking? Maybe we have to help. Uh-huh. Is that is that mixed enough? Serve. No. What the fuck? What the fuck? Two of them. One. Two. Okay. One pound of delta. All mixed. Ah! Okay, apparently you have to mix it differently. Yay! It only took us like five attempts, didn't it? Not quite. Let's do one more. <sighs> Please hear me for a bit, okay? Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can't tell it's being blended and the shaker starts moving. Okay, so under five seconds is a mix. Over five seconds is a blend. Okay, we can live with this. Check the ice and age buttons on the side. Okay, cool. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add ice after mixing. What? No, that the station will add ice after mixing. It's something you should mind, though, just a fun fact. Okay. Give me a moon blast, I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Okay. A moon blast. Name. M -m 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 moon blast. Wait. Moon blast. Okay. A moon blast is six of those, one of those, one of those, two of those, all on the rocks and blended. So ice. Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of those, one of those, and two of those. All on the rocks and blended. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it should start going faster now. Stop. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. First time. Ah, excellent stuff, guys. You did, and sorry to hold you up. Let's get working. Yay! Oh, and before I forget, you can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Ah, oh, it's going to get confusing, isn't it? I'll never remember that. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Okay. Oh, if the recipe says use optional keratin, it means you can use one or fill to the brim. Use not okay, so non or fill it completely. Okay, that mm, so that's where I went wrong with the last one. I wasn't going all in with the karmat karmatrine karma, karma, that thing. Doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. The alcoholic factor in a drink, it doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. So we just get everyone hammered as fuck, yeah? Sounds great. If you, add too, if you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster. So be mindful of that. We're going to get everyone fucking hammered is what we're going to do. Okay. I am. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, boy. Hey. Who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Creepy. Well, it was either that or leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. Wow. She's going to make a ruckus when she wakes up. That's, that's fair comment. That's for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Right, okay. So, yeah, this game, it looks... Assuming it's going to happen, what I think it's going to happen is... What's going to happen is there's people going to be talking and I'm going to have interactions with them and make them drinks from this perspective, I assume. Let's see what happens. Do you think the chief knocked her out? Nah, it's unlikely. She'd be crowing out about taunting if that was the case. Okay. And it's not like her to pick up such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We just need to keep it quiet. She should be at sleep. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get to the good stuff. Time to start. Yay, time to start. I'll start working while you clean the bathroom. Ah. Uh, while well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday's uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's, uh... I just want to see it because the video is like set at the end of 20, like 15 minutes. We're 20 minutes in. God damn it, this game ran away with me already. Jill, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would just make a joke like that? Well, it's a punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome. You'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that, fine, no problems. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You bought that from home, didn't you? That I did. That's funny. 
Hey, if you're gonna punish people, you might as well bring cleaning stuff. What do I, let's play some music in the jukebox. Yay! All its 12 slots filled songs before it can start. Uh, okay. So we need to fill, fill all 12. What? Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 couple of random, no, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, ready. That's weird, isn't it? You have to choose your own music. That's cool, it's weird. Time to mix the drinks and change lives. A beer. <laughs> I was sure right on it. Okay, he wants a beer. Um, a beer, eh? Is it, how do I make a beer? It's one of those. Uh, uh, one of those, two of those, one of those, and uh, one, two, three, four. Mixed. No. <laughs> oh, God damn it. One of those, two of those, one powder delta, two of those, and four of those okay so mix yay so like three or three seconds to shake it for a mix and then like five or six seconds to blend it okay cool there you go no thanks this isn't gonna cut it give me a big one that's just you should have said that originally oh my god these guys are, these guys are difficult so double the ingredients one two one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I've just did it in the wrong order. Does that matter? I don't think that matters, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Beer. Yay! Ah, yes. Now, that's one fit for a man like me. Yep. It, it looks like... I don't know what it looks like. It looks like... I don't know. It reminds me of someone. Did, yeah. Didn't he run the uh, Daily Bugle at some point? Right. Just from the from the, from the the, the nose down. You look at this one meeting close by. One hell of a hole. You could certainly use a presence like mine. Great. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hell holes like New Jersey 3. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Wait, so he does run the Daily Bugle. I was kind of right there, wasn't I? Nothing gets published in there without my blessing. The day started with quite an interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for all the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings in the clicks. All kinds of people. The clicks bring in money. The money brings in nice stuff. That's a, that is a good point. Money does bring in nice stuff. Nice stuff like cars, houses, plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Wow. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about hacker. It's just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper daily without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think I'll help them make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second... <laughs> You're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. Okay, but not all the day stories about murders and all the horrors. Well, I always filter out the section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems it is. I don't need uh, to add gl oh, glitch cities to the name of the city. Glitch cities, lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still... Maybe my job would be easier. How so? 
people get decency, <laughs> decency. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now, we need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby, <laughs> the sick baby boy, getting hit by a truck. Uh, this is this is good dialogue. I'm in, I'm enjoying the dialogue. It's pretty cool. That's not enough. They need full of sub story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Sp <laughs> spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. I guess he. I was thinking the same thing. He he does have a point. I'm not arguing that. What about the opinions column? Aren't those source of traffic for you too? I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone likes everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them. So they get all diva-like on my ass. There's a sentence you don't hear every day. All diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, way. I was thinking of the newspaper. Yeah, the columnists in your page are annoying. See? The kid in the restaurant critique column? Um, shit. Forget that brat's name. Restaurant, I believe that's... That kid couldn't let Elizabeth's name. Okay. Anyway... His column is at least visited by a bunch. He gets hits and then obituaries. Oh, he gets more. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Right, I'm reading this all wrong now. Time to exit. I've been going 26 minutes. I'm forgetting to read. Drinking water. I'm getting confused. And I would like some more tea. So yeah, so far this game looks pretty cool. I don't. Can I? Can I? Can I save jukebox settings? Okay, I can't save. Maybe I'll save for every customer. Should keep going to the end of the customer. Yeah. However, he still insists that keep paying for his adventures at Rage's restaurants. So adventures at Rage's I wouldn't have any problem with that if they actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks. And saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Okay. Coming right up. Okay, right, mix the beer. It's, it's, I think we figured out how this game works. So far, very impressed, to be honest. Uh, they are right. Sit down, have a drink. Read the, read, read the game, enjoy it like a novel. It's quite good. The mix of the drinks, I hope, doesn't get tiresome after a while. Um, I could see how it would, but there's enough dialogue in between by the looks of it to make it interesting. So, yeah, pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. I've been HexDSL. This has been a game I've not run off Steam for the first time in ages. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. It totally reminded me of the Daily Bugle guy, and then he runs a paper, so maybe, maybe that was some, like, subtext going on there. I mean, I was like trying to beam in the concept of a newspaper owner with an epic moustache. Who knows? Mm -hmm.